It was so much fun creating these candy-filled McGonagall hats from Waffle Cones. To make your hats, you're going to need to have a waffle cone maker that will come with a waffle cone form. I like using my small cookie scoop about one and a quarter inch in diameter and some black food coloring gel. In order to make the brim of the hat, I wanted a smaller circle. For that, I only used two scoops. And then for the cone or the top part of the hat, I did the regular three scoop for a full size waffle cone and then cut that in half to be able to make the top of the hat. Use a clean towel for your work surface. Using three scoops, I made a full waffle cone, cut it in half, and put the other half back onto the griddle to keep it warm. I put one little dab of black frosting in the corner and rolled across matching those bottom edges. Then pinch and fold over the top and I held it with a towel while it cooled for about 50 seconds. Then pulling the next one off, I did the same thing, just pulling it right off of that griddle, pinched the top, pulled it over, and used a towel to hold it in place as it cooled for about 50 seconds uh, for it to harden. To make the brim, I put the spoons in a star formation, used two scoops, placed that smaller circle onto the spoons, and then put some knives in between the spoons in order to create that wavy pattern. Then just let it sit on the towel again for about 50 seconds to one minute, and then it will crisp right up, and you will have your hardened wavy brim of the hat. Putting it all together, just take your cone and fill it with some candy. I used maroon and gold for Gryffindor colors. Then take your black decorator icing, and without any tip or anything, I just piped that right around the rim of the waffle cone. Then take the brim of the hat, put it on top, press it into place, turn it over and position it, and your McGonagall hat is finished and ready. These are best when they're as fresh as possible, but you can make the cones and the hats ahead of time and then assemble them later. Just store them in airtight Ziploc bags and then you can assemble them the day of your party.